Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today guys, we're going to be talking about the Outlast Trials. If you guys do go in to enjoy today's video, I would really appreciate it if you guys could drop me a like and subscribe if you guys are new. And other than that guys, I really wanted to get this video out to you guys sooner, but I had some things come up. I'm sorry about that, but today guys, we're going to be talking about the Outlast Trials. Now, Red Barrel Games, actually the, de well, the developers of the game and publishers, they are they uh, posted some new screenshots and I'm not sure if these are maps and I did want to go over some information they clarified on Twitter. Um, the game is not asymmetrical, which is a really good thing for me. I hope it's like a story driven game, but I'm, I'm highly, I highly doubt that it's not. Um, I really just want to know what this game is about. Is it, co it's co-op. We know that for a fact, but I really want to know what's it going to be like. I just want some more information on the story, but today guys, we're going to be going over some screenshots. Uh, or not screenshots, but some images that they posted on their Twitter and it's gonna be going over like We're just gonna be analyzing and see what's happening and uh, yeah, so this is just like my observations and uh, Yeah, I don't really have too much to say guys. I'm wasting way too much time. But other than that guys, let's just get right into this All right guys, so going over the first image it is a little blurry. I'm sorry about that um, but it feels like it's giving me an outlast one vibe when you mentor the main hall and um i mean it, it you have some dolls on the side uh both and then you have like this little thing in the middle where it looks like someone's getting killed a lot of blood everywhere definitely something we could tell and then there's a painting and um what that painting is like some clown i don't know he has some very crooked hair looks like a very old guy kind of doctor i don't know maybe that's uh abandoned freaking Murkoff corporation building i don't know that's what i'm kind of getting from all that but also there is a guy standing in the upper left corner and i mean there's an administration hall i think that's what it's called but there's also a guy in the left hand corner i would i would zoom in but the quality would come out a little bad but yeah i mean it's just something to go off of i mean there's nothing crazy going on in this picture but i mean that guy in the left is pretty much what we should be staring at a lot of dolls on the floor Again, we should just take note of that. But let's move on to the next screenshot. Alright, so this one's a little hard to go off of, guys. But I'm just going to give you guys my speculation. So this is like the grocery store. It has a grocery store. It looks like a little mini town. It looks like an uh, like a carnival, like a mixture carnival. I don't know if you guys have ever been to like Six Flags or something. You see like one of those little mini towns and they have like little amusement park attractions. It looks like one of those. You see like the grocery store is kind of fenced off right there. Maybe you'll be running in and getting weapons or something. Maybe this game will actually have weapons this time around. But I'm not, I highly doubt that because the game's mechanic has always been that you have to run and hide. Um, I don't know though. Maybe I, there's something else you got to notice. There is a car in the background and there's crates right there And then there's something that says lofty maybe on the right hand corner And then there's a bush right there and then I don't know if that's just the way it is But again, all this is just great to note. Like I said in the upper right hand corner. It looks like I don't know. It looks like a skyline to me, but I don't know uh, Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but if you guys if you guys think anything, let, let me know, actually. But, yeah. Um, I think... I'm, I mean, I'm not really finding anything out in these screenshots, but it was, it was nice to know. But uh, let's move on to the final screenshot. Okay, so in this third screenshot, it appears that it's actually in an amusement park, right? It looks like it's kind of the same map, or it's going to be set in the same map as the grocery store, like uh, the, the sign for the grocery store. Uh, I don't know. It just seems like a little carnival map to me, right? And, I mean... It, it looks pretty decent. I mean, it looks like there's a bunch of mannequins. It looks like uh, there's like a little booth you could sit down on right there next to the left. Um, there's uh, what do you call it? Those little fortune teller machines. They're there. Um, but I mean, other than that, these are pretty. These are pretty normal. I mean, nothing crazy going on, you know. But like I said, pretty good maps. Uh, I'm liking the. I'm liking the aesthetic, and I'm liking the the the, the feeling of this game. I mean, it is said during the Cold War. And I, I just feel, I don't know if these are maps or just like all set in one. I hope the map, I hope maps are going to be like at least six or seven maps at launch. No, like four or three maps, like please five and above because that would just be dis very disappointing. Not going to lie. But other than that, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it. I want to wrap up the, today's video. If you guys did go on to enjoy, please drop me a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And I will be posting another video tomorrow. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.